Hello everyone, welcome back. I am coming to you from my classroom because today is the first day that I'm in here trying to set up for the new school year. So I actually didn't vlog earlier, but I've been doing a few things here and there. One thing that I did was sort of set up this area. It's not, this is not the final way that I'm gonna have it. I still have to tweak it here and there, but this table was all the way in that corner with all these boxes over here on top of it. So I had to move them there, move the table, put the science kits there. This table had been up here with a whole bunch of boxes on top of it. So I moved that. My bins up there were back here in that corner where I now have my cart. And that's just mom. Hi, mom. Hi. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just moved it here. I kind of moved my sofa here for now. This is not where I'm going to leave it, of course. And these computers I have to store until they pick them up, whenever that is. So I have to figure out where to put them and organize this a little better. And this is a new step stool that I got from Home Depot. It is amazing. So sturdy, steel frame, love it. And also my cubbies were all the way over here. So I had to move it all the way here <laughs> and kind of push this a little over cause they had moved these out to clean the floors. So I had to make space for the cubbies to fit there. So now what my mom's gonna help me do is take down all of this or as much as we can because right now it's 3 p.m i don't know how long they're gonna let us stay in school and like i said as much as i can because from the last video you know that i sprained my ankle i'm actually doing well i've been walking around here and there limping a little bit here and there but trying to do what i can hence why i bought the new step stool so it's a little bit more sturdy and i feel more comfortable stepping on it to take things down so yeah some things to do just wanted to kind of give you like the before before and hopefully the after will show some great progress so here we go all right everyone it's now about 4 40 and they recently came on the announcements telling us that we have until five to leave the building so i want to show you the progress as you can see behind me there's some progress but i have to give you a warning because we had to take all these things down the room looks like a mess. <laughs> Remember, every time we unpack our classrooms, we have to make a mess before we put everything in its place and get it all organized. So this is how everything looks right now. Here's the after. So my Tetris wall has been put down and now I can finally see the magic of growth mindset, which I got from a teacher that I'll link down below if you're interested in getting these growth mindset Harry Potter themed posters. And I believe it's Miss Bible. Yeah. So um, we did put all these books here for now because I can't put them in the bookshelves yet. And I'll let you know in a moment why. We started getting a lot of these things down, but we're leaving that for now because I do have to empty the bookshelves before we take them down. So here's some empty bookshelves and of course the mess, the mess, the clutter. Oh no. And these bookshelves are in the front. Hi mom, she's resting. Hi, hi mom. Hi. <laughs> we put these in the front for now because I have to set up that corner with the Harry Potter um, Hogwarts silhouette. Now, when I took this down, I thought that I had enough bulletin board paper to put it back together in the new school year. I didn't realize that the bulletin board paper that I needed is sky blue which I no longer have. So I went on Lakeshore and I found a small roll because it is limited stock. So I found a small roll that is 12 feet long. It's not gonna quite fit the area. However, it's something. But on my way home, I'm gonna stop by another teacher store before I go to Lakeshore and see if they have that color. It's fadeless bulletin board paper in sky blue. So hopefully, crossing my fingers, I find it. If not, maybe when I go to Lakeshore, I can find an extra roll because they limited the amount that I can put in my cart. I can only put one because they have limited stock. So that's where I'm gonna be headed now. Now that we're leaving, yeah, to the teacher store. So I'll take you along with me so that you can see whether I find it or not. I hope I find it because here's the Hogwarts silhouette that I rolled up at the end of last year because this took me so long to make. 
and I didn't want to have to make it again. And if you want to see the process of how I made this, I'll link the video down below. It was a classroom setup from maybe three years ago. I think it was three years ago, two or three years ago, something like that. So, yep, this is my teacher corner. I had to put all this stuff up here and a lot of them are teacher additions and things that I need to put up here, like my credentials go up there. And yep, a lot of stuff to do. But um, even though it looks like a mess right now, I do feel like I accomplished what I wanted to do today, which was take down the Tetris wall <laughs> from on top of the cabinets. <laughs> and at least now I don't have to really like do a lot of this like up and down up and down i do have to do some up and down because i have to put the rules back up i have to put my house shields back in the back there's still things to do so i'll be back in the classroom monday morning hopefully at around 7 30 a.m because i want to take some time before i have a leadership meeting at 9 a.m that i have to go to from 9 to 11. so already my monday prep time is cut a little bit short and yeah, tons to do. So let me grab my things and I'll catch up with you later after I go to the teacher store. Score! I found it! Amazing! As you saw, I was successful and guess what? It was the last one left. It was meant to be. It was for me. And then of course, while I was there, it's funny because earlier when I was looking at the posters that I have to put back up, it was the Pledge of Allegiance poster that I saw that, that looked faded because I've had it for so many years. So I picked up a new Pledge of Allegiance poster right here. And it's the same one that I have in my room. So I can just, you know, let go of the other one and put this one that is not faded. And they offer laminating. So I got it laminated. So that was great. And then I got a couple of other little things so let me just quickly show you. So I got some much needed double-sided sticky tape. Very important for setup. I saw these super cute sticky app notes, a note app, like, an email, super cute. I have ideas on how I can use these. I'm kind of like thinking about them, but yeah. Great way to probably incorporate it into some kind of activity. And I got these two packs of rainbow stickers. I have been loving rainbows so much. As a matter of fact, I got my new Lily Pop lanyard and it was the rainbow one that she gave the option to personalize. So let me show you how it looks. So here it is, my new Lily Pop lanyard with my name and a cute little rainbow and beads. It's just beautiful. It's a little bit heavy, so I am not gonna use it all the time, but I definitely wanted to use it for the first couple of days. So right now I'm gonna go home, pick up my mom, cause she came in her own car and she had to do one more errand. And then she's gonna go with me to Lakeshore. So I'm still gonna go to Lakeshore and pick up the blue paper that I ordered from there. That one was only like $7, so it's not that bad. And maybe I'll take a look around because I have yet to visit Lakeshore since they opened new recently, I believe. There used to be another teacher store in that same plaza, but that one closed and Lakeshore is now open there. So I've never stepped foot inside of a Lakeshore learning store. So I'm looking forward to seeing what I find there. All right, everyone, I am now back home. I was super successful, like I said, in Lakeshore, finding a couple of different things, including a couple of posters that I'll show you more 
next week and I laminated them and I got a couple little other little things that I'll show you next week uh, along with those scented pens that I showed you so then after that my mom and I went to get dinner for the whole family we ended up wanting some Puerto Rican food so we went to one of our favorite places and this is what I'm eating tonight so here we have some mofongo with fried pork chunks and it is delicious my dad and uncle are having the same thing my son is having some steak with onions and my mom is having mofongo with the octopus salad because she wanted that so that is where i'm going to leave you for today and oh yeah by the way this morning when i woke up i took my son to open his very first checking account i know so crazy that my son is growing up and being a little like young adult and after that we went to eat breakfast at first watch and we had an amazing amazing breakfast i had some tacos he had some eggs benedict kind of deconstructed because he had everything separate along with tomato soup because he loves that and i had a really great drink called i forgot morning meditation it's basically orange juice with beets and turmeric and ginger it was amazing so yeah that's how i started my day and i've been run 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 and go 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 until now which is like 8 30 close to nine o'clock so i'm gonna eat my dinner take a nice warm shower go to sleep and enjoy my last two days of summer break saturday and sunday because on monday i am back to work and yeah i'll take you along with me so that you can see so i hope you enjoyed this first video of getting ready for the 2021 2022 school year if you enjoyed it don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment down below let me know what you thought or any questions you may have also if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos i hope you have a beautiful magical day and don't forget to smile Hello dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.